Hi, Nigel Carter here, proudly wearing my England in California t-shirt. Not quite sure what that makes me. Uh, but anyway, today we have another source review, but this is a really special one. Um, this is Brain Strain, and source made by Cappy, uh, Pepper Ridge Farms, and we all know that the brain strain was originated um, and developed by Cappy over a number of years. And this is the first time this has been available in a while. Um, it's very rarely available, and I know that there isn't much of it, but you can get it. Um, you can get it right now, direct from Cappy Pepperidge Farms, and I'll put that information down below. But, um, there's no label for ingredients in this, but I, I have cribbed the ingredients. And so, this is essentially a fermented seven pot brain strain sauce that has pineapple, carrots, onion, garlic, brown sugar, vinegar, lime, and clementine in it. So, you shall see, I love the label. Rain strain made by Cappy. Mmm, and it smells like a fermented sauce should. Um, it has that particular odor of, of the fermentation process gives, which I really enjoy. Um, so it's going to be it's a lactic, uh, lactobacillus ferment. So there's going to be lactic acid in there. Let's see if we can get some out. Yeah, it has that wonderful fermented uh, aroma. And you can tell that the the chilies in there are um, scorpion seven pot family, but the the fermentation process kind of um, changes the way these things smell. I mean, these things tend to be fermented for about three months. So there's a little bit of fruit um, to it. I couldn't tell you that it was pineapple. There is certainly citrus in there. I couldn't tell you what kind, just from the aroma. It smells wonderful. It smells really great. Um, this is a how the sauce looks. Very dense sauce. Um, ferments tend to be because you just make a, a mash with as little liquid as possible and put it in some fermentation vessels and, and let it go. So, Brain Strain by Cappy. Cheers. That's brilliant. There's a slight saltiness to it because when you do fermentations you do them at a reasonably high salt level because it inhibits um, on anything nasty growing and you tend to just get really good lactobacillus cultures. I'm going to have some more of that. It really, it has that lovely fermented flavour. And a real nice fruitiness up front, that, and a little bit of acid that balances the, the, the slight saltiness. And then you get hit by this lovely lactic acid fermentation type flavour. And then the peppers come along, and you can tell that it's sort of seven pot scorpion type flavor. That's oh, such a great flavor. Mm. 
with some really nice deep flavors from the the peppers themselves. But very hard to describe because you have a lot of sweet and sour. Um, the citrus balances the sweetness, which balances the slight uh, saltiness, and then it's just raging hot. It's um, it's as hot as you'd expect for a, a fermented seven pot brain strain sauce. Um, I mean, the major main ingredient in here is seven pot brain strains, probably by a ninety to one. So it's it's very very hot, but. The heat comes afterwards, you, you get all the flavours to start with, um, and then you get the peppers after you get the fermented flavours, the slight saltiness, the um, sweetness of the fruit, and the uh, lime. The, can't really tell that there's clementine in there in all honesty, but it's very citrusy. Then you get the flavour of the peppers after all that. And then the heat comes and smacks you in the face. <coughs> yeah, that's brilliant. That's really nice. That just shows me how far short my fermented sauces are compared to something like that. Yeah, so that's a wonderful sauce. Absolutely wonderful. And it's raging hot. It really is hot. I might have some more. It's make, making me sweat already. But it's... Uh, it's a toned down uh, seven pot brain strain heat because of the process of fermentation breaks it down you, you cook the sauces afterwards to break breaks them down a bit more uh, and so it changes the way the heat hits you or at least it does it does for me anyway so Cappy's brain strain made by Cappy Pe Pepperidge Farms I'll find some information and put it down below so that you can uh, order this because if you want some of this you're going to have to order it soon because I don't think um, there's very much and it's not been around in, in a couple of years so it's well worth having it's fantastic delicious sauce absolutely wonderful um, real master ferment um, that yeah that one day I might be able to produce something half as good as that. So, this is Nigel Carter, Waxing Lyrical again, saying thanks a lot for watching, and all the information about this source is going to be below. I'll see you later.